What's going on guys, Austin here. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Extra Points Five Minute Fantasy Week Seven, Booming and Busting Tight Ends. Uh, so the booms I'm gonna say are Hunter Henry, the Jets are atrocious at covering tight ends and Hunter Henry is emerging himself, uh, separating himself from Jonu Smith as the best tight end on the team who I always, I always thought that he would be. I'm gonna say Zach Ertz versus Houston because uh, Zach Ertz who, just recently got traded from the Philadelphia Eagles to the Arizona Cardinals. Um, it's going to be, he's going to need to build up a rapport with Kyler Murray and there's no better team to do that with uh, or against rather than the Houston Texans who really have no shot of winning this game. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Dallas Goddard against the Las Vegas Raiders. Now that is if he clears COVID protocol because uh, the Raiders cannot cover tight ends. It's just, I mean, the Chargers, they cooked them. Uh, Noah Fant, he was able to get points. A lot of teams were able to get points on the Raiders. Um, a lot of tight ends are. So uh, be on the lookout to see if Dallas Goddard clears COVID protocols who missed the Tampa Bay game uh, last week on Thursday. And then a name that you probably aren't too familiar with, CJ Uzoma, who is the tight end for the Cincinnati Bengals right now. Uh, he's kind of middle of the pack in the league. Uh, in terms of tight end rankings, but going up against Baltimore, who's actually susceptible to the tight ends, but very good against the wide receivers, he could see a bump up in production just based on uh, the fact that he's going to be more open or he'll be more prone to shedding tackles than the wide receivers are. Uh, and then the bus this week, I'm going to say are Mark Andrews against Cincinnati. Cincinnati, who's been excellent at covering tight ends this year, uh, inexplicably, despite having a uh, mediocre defense otherwise. No fan versus Cleveland, who Cleveland, despite having everyone injured, still has, uh, they've done a relatively excellent job at covering tight ends. Uh, last week, going up against the Arizona Cardinals doesn't really count because Arizona Cardinals didn't have any tight ends until they made the Zach Ertz trade, but uh, I'd be scared to start no fan. I'm going to say sick Kyle Pitts against Miami. Uh, linebacking is what I mean, linebackers, that's what uh, Brian Flores does. And Kyle Pitts, although he's a little bit faster and smaller than most tight ends, uh, he's probably going to be covered by linebackers most of the time. Uh, and so, you know, the excellence of the Miami scheme right there should be able to bracket him away. And then I'm going to say Tyler Higby versus Detroit, who Detroit, they've been decent. Their linebackers are getting better uh, as the year, the year has gone on. It seems like whether it's either playing harder or just buying into the scheme, they're actually doing a relatively relatively good job at stopping opposing teams' tight ends. All right, guys, thanks for watching that video. Be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And be sure to be on the lookout for our other videos. Uh, up next should be uh, the Extra Points 5-Minute Fantasy Week 7 Booming and Busting Defenses.